Hey everybody, welcome back to Dreadfully Dainty Dibs. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lindsay, and I'm so glad that you've decided to join the Dreadful family. So for today, I figured let's do some DIY nail art, but we're going to make DIY alcohol inks. I'm gonna show you how to make them and how to play with them. So if you happen to have some Sharpies or some permanent markers of any kind and some rubbing alcohol laying around, let's save some money and let's make alcohol inks. You ready? Okay, so let's jump into this video. So we are going to make DIY alcohol inks. Okay, so we are going to need permanent markers, isopropyl alcohol, 91%, some gloves, because it's gonna get a little messy, and a mat that you don't mind getting dirty or just something to protect your surface, because these are permanent markers until they're diluted in the alcohol. Okay, so I stopped by Walmart, and I picked up the metallic permanent markers and their thicker chisel tip permanent markers. I also swung by Dollar Tree and picked up their permanent markers. And then I have a few Sharpies that I don't really use a lot. So we are going to try fine tip and then like their regular tip because a lot of people will say like especially on the videos on YouTube that I've watched that Sharpie is like the best of the best. So we're gonna compare. Oh, and also I picked up these spray bottles from Dollar Tree. I couldn't think of what else I really wanted to put them in that was like, you know, cost effective. So these came two per pack and I got a bunch of packs. So two for a dollar wasn't too shabby. And then here is the 91% isopropyl alcohol that I picked up from my local Walmart. Super cheap. So we're going to put all these brands to the test and see which ones we like. Oh, also you'll need some tools because we're going to dissect these markers. We're going to take them apart and please be careful when using your X-Acto blade. It is very sharp. So please, if you try to redo this video, you do this at your own risk. <laughs> I'm just here to show you how it's done. I am not responsible if anybody cuts their little phalanges off. <laughs> Hopefully you don't. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's take all these markers out of the package and then I'll be right back once we get started. Okay, so after everything that I did for research on YouTube, there was really no exact science behind this. So I'm just going to fill these bottles up. They're two ounce two fluid ounce bottles. We're going to fill them up halfway with our alcohol because I figure the less alcohol, maybe the more opaque our alcohol inks will be. All right, so let me get this new bottle open and then we will start filling up our water, our, our water bottles, <laughs> our spray bottles. Goodness. Okay, so we're going to fill them up about halfway. This one, I kind of, you know, went a little bit more, but that's okay. For the rest of them, I really try to get them halfway. All right, and so we have Sharpie up first. So we're gonna take apart our Sharpie. And for the Sharpie brand, we are going to slide the tip, which is the nib, out. And we're just gonna dunk that puppy right into our bottle. We want that tip because it's still full of ink. Okay, and then the colored part comes apart from the marker. You need that Hulk strength. Break that guy open. Okay, and so it's got like a little ink filter in the middle. So we want that. The rest of the marker, just chunk it. We don't need it. Well, besides the cap, I did try to save the caps because, you know, silly me, I forgot to label my jars or my bottles beforehand. So I'm counting on that cap to remind me after our 24 hour period, um, what brand of marker that we use so that way I can make sure to label my bottle so that way when we come back to compare we will know okay so what I did here was I took my exacto blade or exacto knife and I just sliced it just right through the edge you'll see when you get the filter in your hand what I'm talking about so I just kind of like wanted to pierce it slice it open that way that ink just has you know more of a chance to get out of that little filter 
Okay, so easy peasy. We're going to continue filling bottles and continue dissecting our markers. And then I will be right back. that was the last one so here is our bucket full of inks so that alcohol bottle did I believe 20 bottles of the two ounces and halfway and we still have like uh, maybe like a quarter of our alcohol left so that was pretty good all right so we're gonna let these set overnight like I was saying because we just, you know, want all that alcohol to absorb all that ink. And look, some of these are already changing. How cool is that? So this has been a fun little science experiment. I hope y'all are enjoying it so far. All right, so stick around and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so we're back. I have just let them sit in my nail room overnight and look at the difference. They have all gotten completely darker, or a, you know, majority of them. So cool. So you can kind of see that that ink, like the filter is almost white compared to all of the ink that was filled in it. But yeah, so, okay. So I think I'm going to chop the filters in half because I feel like I can get so much more ink out of them. So I'm gonna chop them in half and I'm actually gonna put them all down in the bottle. We're gonna put the spray caps back on. That way we can give them a really good shake. All right, I'll be right back.
All right, so I've got them all labeled. We got the tops back on and I've given them a good shake. So let's give them a test. Let's play, shall we? Okay, so I am playing with the brown chisel tip from um, Walmart and the yellow, I believe it's just the yellow chisel tip. Yes, um, the yellow one from Walmart as well. Because I figured, hey, let's do a wood grain. So I prepared um, a few white swatches. This is just gel polish with a matte top coat. And I have some brushes. We're just gonna play around with even different size brushes. Um, and just see what we get. It is really that simple, you guys. So um, you want to make sure that your surface is, you know, just kind of smooth because you want that alcohol to be able to, to disperse over the nail. And you just play. I mean, it's easy as like, you know, just putting a couple little dollops on the nail. Right here, I'm trying to do like brush strokes to kind of make it look like wood grain. Because immediately when I saw this brown and yellow, I was like, oh, I knew. I had to do wood grain. I don't know why. <laughs> That's just what came to my brain. Um, so you want to kind of like, you know, once you lay the ink down on the nail, you kind of want to let it air dry for just a second and you'll be able to tell it'll be, it'll like become more matte instead of shiny. And then, yeah, I'm just playing around with like, you know, what, you know, if I drop it on versus if I drag it down the nail if I put it in different areas of the nail, I mean, it's just, I mean, have fun with it. And the great thing about alcohol inks is if you mess up, clean it off with, um, just regular rubbing alcohol, like just clear rubbing alcohol and you can just start all over. <laughs> so until you seal it with like a top coat, um, yeah, you can just add and add and layer and layer and there really is no like wrong um, no wrong way to play with alcohol inks. I think that's the beauty of it. Okay, so I'm going to mess around with this wood grain. Um, I could sit here and talk to you guys all day. <laughs> I just love to talk. But you'll see me. Um, I'm going to try it with this brush. I kind of felt like this brush was, you know, just giving me too thick of alcohol drops or, you know, swipes, if that makes sense. So you will actually eventually see me switch to a thinner tipped um, brush. That way I can make smaller strokes. So, I mean, you know, there's so many factors, um, you know, between how you lay it on the nail um, to what kind of brush you use, what size brush you use. Um, the colors you want to pretty much stay within like that color wheel because some of them so say like if you mixed a pink and a green You know, it might look cute, but it could get muddy and it could you know, like turn into like an ugly brown or something <laughs> So, you know, just play with colors that are complementary to each other would be you know, just a tip that I don't know a good tip to to keep in mind Okay, so here I switched to that finer tip <clears throat> Excuse me to the finer tip brush and you'll see I am like I'm digging this brush like this is my jam for the wood grain it's giving me all those nice little wood effects all right so I'm gonna let you watch me continue this nail and I'll be back when I'm done Okay, so I could sit here all day and play with alcohol inks, but I think I'm finally happy with how this looks. Okay, so we're going to let that dry, like fully. You want to let it dry before you top coat, like make sure, because if not, and you go to top coat it with a gel, matte, whatever you so desire, it will drag that ink and it can bleed. You know, some inks just do that. There is no way to prevent it. But I find that if I just, you know, set it to the side, let it dry, um, you know, I have a better top coat. So if that makes sense. 
All right, so onto our next swatch. Um, I'm just gonna clean my brush in just regular old clear alcohol. And I figure let's do, okay, so we have purple from Walmart. I guess, I believe that's the chisel tip. Um, we have a pink, like a fuchsia pink from um, Sharpie. And then we have a green from Dollar Tree, but you will see me switch that out because, okay, so the Dollar Tree inks, what I come to find out through, you know, this whole little experiment um, was the Dollar Tree inks were the fastest to absorb in the alcohol. Okay, so like it looked like it was really doing something, but the colors we're just kind of like, mm, like meh, like on the nail. So this green probably would be good for a different nail, but not for what I was thinking of. I wanted like a more teal, like a more vibrant, you know, greeny blue. Okay. And so Sharpie, I mean, I'm going to have to admit they have not let me down just yet. Like the colors from the marker is kind of like what you were going to expect as if you were doodling with the marker. Okay, so it didn't change. Um, the Walmart markers were okay. Um, you know, they were still vibrant, like this purple you're about to see. But yeah, so see that green? I mean, I know you can't see it up close, but ooh, nope, wrong vibes. I didn't like it as far as for this nail, but I will probably for, you know, for sure use it on a different project. So you just, you know, just have fun, change it out. It's okay, you know? Okay, so I decided to go with a teal, you know, I wanted something more vibrant, like I said, to go with the purple and the pink. Um, and this was by Sharpie as well. So I just started out with just like little, you know, dab, dab, dab it here, dab it there. Um, I really wanted actually more of the white of the nail to show through, but <laughs> when I get to the end, you'll see, I just was like, oh, well, you know, let's just do the whole nail. Why not? I think I even mess up a few times and I wipe it clean and restart. So yeah, like don't be too hard on yourself. Just have fun, you know, like, but, oh, isn't that cute? Like, yeah, I mean, that's okay. We're starting out good, you know? Oh, and also I totally forgot to mention that like, okay, so like if you're laying your color down, you know, and there's something that you don't like, or you're like, oh, well, that's too dark. You know, I wanted more of the background to show up more or... Eh, you know, I just didn't like how this color is mixing with that color. Don't be afraid to like, you know, also have like a little bottle of, you know, your regular rubbing alcohol, the clear one, you know, next to you, because that will take away the color. So, you know, if you want to lighten areas, if you want it more transparent rather than opaque, take the regular rubbing alcohol, dip your brush in there and like, you know, dab, dab, dab where you want it a little bit lighter. So it's all, you know, just like I said, I've probably said have fun a thousand times in this video already, but I mean, it's really that, you know, there is no certain way to do it. You just do it until you like it and then you let it dry when you're happy with it and you top coat. Okay. So again, okay, let's finish this now. I'm going to stop uh, talking your head off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I'm finally happy with that. So let's set it to the side and let it dry. All right, so we're on our third swatch. So I figured, hey, let's do something bright. So I decided to pick a coral from Sharpie and it's like a peach i believe it was one of the fine tips from our or no 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 we went with the pink so the coral was the fine tip sharpie and the pink was the like your usual size sharpie so i figured oh this will look kind of summery and i'm not going to do the full nail this time so i'm just going to kind of do like a little like a little swoopy accent, but okay. I'm told myself I wasn't going to talk through this one. So just watch and I'll be right back.
Okay, so I'm happy with the way that looks. Again, we're going to let it dry and move on to our fourth and final swatch. Okay, so for this one, I wanted to try the black because if you see it in the bottle, it's crazy. Like a black permanent marker is actually like a really, really dark purple. That's so crazy to me. Okay, so this ended up being a hot mess at the beginning, but that's okay because like I said, we're here to learn together. Um, and yeah, so I just decided was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to just drop drops on it from the little spray bottle. And just see how it goes <laughs> and then it ended up being a disaster but hey that's okay um, I wiped it clean and we started over and I left all this in here just so y'all can see you know so here I go again and so I'm just testing different methods like you know if I drop a big drop if I dropped a small drop what would it do um, if I like drug it down from the side what would it do like just test it trial and error <laughs> we're all learning right on this whole nail journey together through all of the the nail things all kinds of nail art you know okay so here i'm just trying to like trying to like in a way like sop up the extra black ink that was on like the edge of the nail and then you can't see but over in the like left top hand corner of this video i have my regular alcohol little jug up there and see how i made like the white dots or the black less transparent and the white show through more that's what i'm doing there is i'm taking regular alcohol and just dropping onto the nail and then i kind of felt like oh well let's do black and blue and then I forgot, oh yeah, I really wanted to try the metallic permanent markers to really see, because you can see the shimmer in the bottle, but I wasn't so sure that you would be able to see the shimmer on the nail, but I was wrong. You really can, see? Okay, so I'm trying to get it to focus. You can just slightly see, this is supposed to be the silver metallic marker from Walmart. Oh, if my camera would focus. So you can like slightly see it. I was really, really surprised you guys. Because you can see all the shimmer in the bottle. It's like just swirling around in there. But um, yeah, it actually came through on the nail. But more gray rather than silver. More like a gray. But like with, you know, just a little bit of shimmer. Okay, and then I wanted the blue to come through a little bit more. So I dropped a little blue on there. I mean, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I had no plan. I honestly did not have no plan. And then so see here, I was going so well and then I messed it up and I was like, oh no, everything is just running together. What a mess. But hey, <laughs> what are we going to do? We're going to wipe that puppy off and we're going to start all over again. But anyway, okay. So I will let y'all see this, how I do this one. This one's blue, gray, and black. And then I'll be back. All right, guys, so this is the, this is it. This is what we came up with. So, okay, I guess I was trying to debunk Sharpie, but I mean, they didn't let me down. And then I would think that the, um, the Walmart, the chisel tips came in right after Sharpie, but just look at how gorgeous these end up turning out. And of course, I couldn't help but put a little pizzazz on them once they were done. I added dip powders from Dip Omania and um, Barbie Secret Dips. And then we just left the wood grain. All right, you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.